fast, so make sure not to push the paddle in much. Just like jump it Hi there friends, it's Trish from Dish Kitty Studio and I'm back. I wanted to pop in and do a quick flip of my daily journal uh, so you guys can sort of see what's going on. These are the pages where I left off um, in my last video. So I am just going to go ahead and get into it. Um, this is from, here's our tickets, and this is from the what do you call it, the program. My husband and I went to see the local symphony orchestra uh, perform the music for Jaws live while we watched the movie as well. So I stuck that stuff in here. Uh, also, I drew a little picture here. I just got a one of those robot vacuums and I drew a little picture of it because this was the day that we finally got a chance to try it out. Actually, this was the day I bought it. Um, and then we went to see Jaws and then when we got home, it was all charged up. So we kind of like ran it around the house and we like literally sat there on the couch watching it, you know, move around us and clean the floor. So it was kind of fun. So anyways, I just drew a little picture of it. I named him Dodge because he bumps into the furniture and then kind of keeps going. So anyway, um, what's happening here? UK, what does that mean? Oh, we are planning to go to Europe uh, this fall and this was the day that we finally chose our dates and booked our trip. So um, there's that. And then these are just some bubbles because I took a bath. That's it, not much going on there. Uh, this was a while ago because like this is April 1st, today is April 25th, so I'm actually like trying to remember what even happened. These are Kit Kat wrappers. Um, my husband and I like to go to the Asian market and we buy, they always have different kinds of flavors of Kit Kat. So we got strawberry and orange and we tried both. Um, uh, I liked both in different ways. I think this one's like chocolate and this one, I think the strawberry one is chocolate. The orange one is a white chocolate outside. Both very good. I mean, I haven't had any of these that I didn't like. Um, I think the last time we got them, we got cookies and cream, but these are really good too. Uh, went to the gym and I set up my, what I'm calling my murder board. Uh, for my birthday, my husband got me the Hunt a Killer set because I'm super into like the true crime documentaries and I love forensic files and I love all that kind of stuff so I have always told him like oh my dream is like I want to have a cork board with pins on it and try to you know solve the case like have you know all the stuff pinned on the board and yarn connecting everything and so he got me this hunt to killer thing and you can buy this like add-on package for it where it comes with the cork board and the string and the tacks and all that so he actually got me that and this was the day that I finally Got my cork board hung up and I, st I went through the stuff and I kind of started going through it. Um, it. I'm still only on the first box. Um, I haven't had a ton of time to, you know, actually hunt for the killer. I have some ideas, but they're just theories and I have no evidence yet. Um, but it's it's been really fun. So uh, I do have the second box, but I haven't even opened it because I'm still working my way through the case files in the first box. Um, we bought some new cat food, so I just drew a little fake bag of cat food with a happy cat, and I called it Cat Crunch. Drew some kibble. Um, I have been, I was having problems with my foot. My big toe was, like, really hurting. So I drew my little toesies here and, like, the pain lightnings and sad face. Uh, also, I went and got, uh, frozen yogurt from Menchie's. So, of course, they give you the little sticker. Um, what else? I got my hair done this day, and um, it is now, like, kind of, gr it's kind of like mermaid-y. Um, like, it's darker blue at the roots, and then some dark blue throughout, and then it's kind of like a teal green at the ends. Um, it's it's pretty. It's faded quite a bit already, um, but it's pretty. It was this, these colors are not quite accurate, but you know, like as I've told you many times, I'm struggling with this paper. Uh, 
Uh, this was this is all the one day here. Um, this evening, my husband and I went to see William Shatner. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if I've mentioned it before on my channel, but I am a huge Star Trek fan. I love Star Trek. I've always loved it since I was a kid. I used to watch the original series reruns with my mom. And when Next Generation came out in the late 80s, I watched it every single week. Um, I watched Deep Space Nine. Um, kind of Voyager, I watched a little bit, but I didn't catch up until later. Uh, I have watched all of it now. Enterprise, I never really got much into. I love the all the movies. I love all the J.J. Abrams stuff. I love it. Enterprise was really the only thing that kind of lost me. But... We went to see, it was a showing of Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, and then a, like a Q&A afterwards with William Shatner live, and it was really cool. I loved it. It was great. Um, I have met the origin, the next generation um, main cast. I met all those guys at a convention, because I've been to a Star Trek convention, because I'm that much of a nerd. Um, but it was my first time actually seeing William Shatner, so it was, it was pretty cool. Um, this was, um, I'm trying to think, let's see, my dad was in town from Texas, so, um, he was staying at my sister's at this time, um, we went over there to celebrate his birthday, his birthday's in late March, so, um, he is not a cake person, so my sister made him a pie, um, and then this is just from a new pizza place that opened up in town, my husband and I went there for dinner later on. And so I just kind of kept the little silverware tag with the logo on it. That's it. Uh, I clearly ate some mac and cheese and I did a face mask. These colors right here are much more accurate for what my hair color looks like. It's more mermaidy, teal, and navy like this. Um, and then, of course, I just drew some mac and cheese. It was Sundays are usually pretty low-key. Um, so we just kind of hung around the house and... Mac and cheese and facial. I did a lot of different... I see a lot of tickets here because this this last uh, few weeks I did a lot of different shows. Um, this day, uh, my toe, which I previously mentioned, the painful big toe, I finally couldn't take it anymore so I went to urgent care and I had an, I had an ingrown toenail. The very nice nurse practitioner gave me a ridiculously painful shot in the toe of some kind of anesthetic lidocaine or something and then she took some giant scissors and chopped a big chunk of my toe off and it hurt super and I, this is like a tube of antibiotic cream in my big wrapped up foot um it hurt super bad that night once the lidocaine wore it out wore off oh my gosh i was trying to keep it up it was just throbbing it was awful but i put the uh, antibiotic cream on it and honestly by the time I woke up the next day it was it was fine it was feeling fine she told me to take Tylenol which I did um, the night she chopped it up um, but by the next day it was fine it was really like it was the worst part of it was that shot that was the worst um, this are these are tickets to see John Mellencamp which I went to see uh, with my girlfriend Sherry uh, we had a great time. It was a really fun show. We had, um, went out for dinner first. I'm trying to figure out what this is all about. Uh, what this firecracker thing is. Oh, it's a cherry bomb. Obviously, because John Mellencamp. Um, so yeah, I had dinner with my girlfriend and we went to see John Mellencamp and it was really fun. Uh, this was a crappy day. I had made an appointment to go in and see um, my primary care doctor about some issues I was having. And I, I made my appointment for in the morning. I got up super early, um, missed work, got there, went in to check in, and they were like, oh, we don't have anything scheduled for you today. And I was like, are you sure? Like, did I mess up? The day is like, did I get the day wrong? Is it like tomorrow or something? And they were like, no, we don't have anything scheduled for you, period. And I was like, oh, so disappointed. So I was very upset. Um, 
this day, um, my dad had been staying with my sister. He came over and stayed with my husband and I, and we went out for Korean food. So we took him to this Korean place that we really like, and we get these, um, they're like kimchi seasoned, I'm not sure what, I think it's called celtus, but it's like some kind of root vegetable. Um, I'm not sure. It's like f kind of fibrous and I don't know. They're like little pieces like this and it's just kind of like a little appetizer. So we got those and then I put a little donut sticker here because of course I love sweet water donuts, which is a local thing. And after we had Korean, we took my dad to Sweetwaters and we had donuts. So uh, another, more tickets here. Um, for my dad's birthday, I got him tickets to see Tanya Tucker. No surprise, it was not no me, I was with the Who just happened to be in town here. And um, we went to my favorite local brewery, which happens to be right near um, the theater. We had a beer and had a little snack. And then we went to see Tanya Tucker. My dad's been a big fan for a long time. And this is kind of like her little logo. Um, he loved it. We had a great time. Um, I was actually, I, you know, I mean, Tanya Tucker is huge and she's been around forever. So, you know, I knew just about, I knew most of the songs she did, even though I'm not a big fan. So she's got a amazing catalog. I think she's been singing for like 40 years or 50 years or something crazy. So she's got a million songs and I knew most of them. So we had a great time. It was fun. This was a crazy day. I didn't even draw anything. It's all stickers. Um, my dad and I went shopping and ran some errands. Um, he bought me this little pack of cute kitty cat stickers. So I stuck one in here. Uh, we popped into Trader Joe's, so I put a couple Trader Joe's stickers in here. Um, it happened to be $6 fill a cup day at the Froyo place, so my sister and my nephew came um, in, and the four of us went and got um, frozen yogurt. And then in the evening, we all went out to dinner. We went to this really great um, Vietnamese place, and um, it was fun. It was a really busy, crazy day, and it was really fun. Okay, this um, we went and got, okay, so this was kind of a weird day too. My dad was supposed to leave. He was supposed to be flying home. So we got up and we took him to the airport. My husband and I grabbed breakfast for McDonald's on the way home. And then we went and got more donuts because you know I love my donuts. We got some more donuts and then we went home and we were just hanging out. And then a few hours later, my dad called and said that there was too much ice in Chicago and all the flights were canceled, so we had to go back and pick them up. So we went back and picked them up. I kept the little, uh, his little, I took this off of his bag because obviously he wasn't going to need it. And um, this I got from the airport also. So I just stuck this sticker in and I stuck this little tag in. So he ended up staying with us for another night and then he was finally able to get out. Um, the following day. This is just a little doodle I did. Um, and then this here, let me see, let me show this to you up close. Um, I ordered a wax seal um, from Wish and I got some wax and it arrived. So of course I immediately wanted to try it out. So I did. I just tried it on a piece of like, like a junk mail envelope that came in the mail that day and then I cut it out and stuck it in my book here. And then this is just some doodling I did. I dropped my mom off at an appointment and then I went back to pick her up. And while I was waiting for her, um, I just sat in my car and doodled on uh, some scrap paper. So I stuck it in. Uh, so that's that. This is from, um, my husband and I have been watching a show called The Expanse. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime if you're interested. It's a science fiction show. Uh, it's pretty good. We've been watching it for quite a while. We finally finished it, and so I kind of drew this. If, I don't want to spoil anything, but if you've watched the show, um, I imagine you probably would recognize that. Uh, I don't know, because my drawing of it is probably not that great, but, you know, artistic license. 
Uh, this day, I went over to the local um, tobacco shop because they sell CBD products, and on Wednesdays, they're always on sale. And I got, my mom's been, um, she's been taking the CBD gummies for her arthritis pain. Um, she wanted to try the oil, so I went to buy some of the CBD oil um, while it was on sale. And I just drew a little picture of the dropper, and I stuck the little business card from the place here. Uh, FYI, she's been using it, the oil for, I don't know, when was this? The 16th, today's the 25th. Uh, I guess a little over a week, and she seems to really like it. I think it's helping her a lot, so, uh, you know, for whatever that's worth if you're interested. Um, I got a bunch of new washi tape this day, so I just kind of made a little washi tape collage. I bought all of this at Dollar Tree. Um, I was really excited to find these little skinny ones. Um, I don't have a lot of skinny ones, so I was excited about those. That's it. My husband and I just went and ran some errands, and um, I just happened to pop into Dollar Tree, and there's that. Um, I gave my husband his Easter basket. This is April 19th, number one, so this is a two-parter. Uh, I gave him his Easter basket. This was Good Friday, so I had the day off, um, and so did he. So here's the, this is just the little, some of the little grass from his basket. And one of the things I put in there was a Mr. Microphone, which I believe everyone should have one of these Mr. Microphone things in their vehicle because it makes singing along in your car to the radio or to your, you know, music from your phone or whatever so much more fun. So much more fun. It seriously makes you feel like you're on stage. I love it. I think everyone should have one. I've had one in my car for years, and I finally got one for him. So, um, This is the same day. Uh, this evening, my girlfriend Sherry and I um, went out for dinner at a local brewery, and then we took a glass blowing class. It was super fun. So I stuck the card here. This is a sticker from the brewery we had dinner at. I stuck the card from the, the glass place. And then in this little baggie, I don't know if you can see, it's just a little piece of dichroic glass that I stuck in a little plastic bag and then I um, stuck it to the card. Um, we did a couple of things at this glass blowing class. First of all, we made a couple of pendants. Um, I have not picked up my stuff yet although it is ready and I'm planning to go and get it tomorrow. I just haven't had a chance because they close at six, so it's hard for me to get over there after work, but tomorrow I, I'll be able to. So uh, we both made a, two pendants each, which is just fused glass. So um, that's basically cutting pieces of dichroic glass and then, you know, kind of arranging them however you want them on a piece of base glass and then it's fused in a kiln. Um, so we did two of those each. I did one with a clear base and one with a black glass base. So I'm super excited to see how they turned out. I can't wait. And then the other thing we did was we actually got to blow glass tumblers. So I made a little um, tumbler. I don't have it to show you yet. Um, like I said, I'll pick it up tomorrow. But I chose like kind of a baby blue uh, transparent glass. Um, with flecks of a bright pink that is opaque on the top of it. So um, it's pretty, it was, it was really fun. We had a great time. Um, you actually get to take the giant wand and stick it into the, it's like this vat of fiery molten clear glass and you just like get some out and you have to keep spinning it, spinning it, um, and then you just kind of rotate firing it and cooling it and then you shape it with these tools you blow into it to you know create the glass it was, it was super fun we had a great time we loved it um this was saturday um I spent some time in my lair just working on just some art stuff. I worked in my art journal, I worked in my happy thoughts journal, and so I just kind of did some like quick artsy stuff here. Uh, in the evening I went to see, my husband was in another um, live performance of a radio play, uh, so I went to see his show with my mom. It was great. So this is just part of the, you know, program and it's got his name on the cast list and everything. And then um, afterwards we went and got sandwiches from our favorite sub shop and I just 
kept the little piece here um, that says what kind of sandwich I got. Basically, they write it on the wrapper, and so I just ripped it off and paper clipped it in there. Because I'm such a nerd, I will keep any scrap of paper. You guys knew that. Um, Easter, it was fun. Um, my nephews always make an egg for me, so I just kind of drew a little picture of my egg. I actually cut this out of the Easter basket that um, my mother-in-law gave to us. Um, we always get jelly bellies, so I painted some jelly bellies here. And my nephew Jordan made me this beautiful walking staff. Um, it's gorgeous. This little picture does not do it justice. Um, I can't wait to go on a hike and get to use it. Um, he made it, I want to say last fall, he started working on it and he was intending to keep it for himself, but I told him how much I liked it and he wanted to give it to me right then. And I said, no, you worked really hard on it. You should keep it. And he finally brought it with him on Easter and he was like, no, I really want you to have it. So I'm going to give it to you. So it's gorgeous. I really love it. Um, and he kind of like hand carved it and he oiled it. So it's, it's beautiful. Um, my husband and I went for a walk on a local trail this day. And we saw a cow, so I just drew a little cow, but, um, we, the cow was like re actually really close to the trail, but behind a fence. So, um, it was kind of cool. We've never seen a cow on the trail before, so it was cool. Um, I drew a little cardinal here and I painted him because I got my bird feeders up, I think on Sunday, Easter Sunday when we got home, um, I went out and stuck my bird feeders up, um, which I haven't had them up yet this year, this season anyway, well this year. So um, I didn't see any birds on Monday, I was kind of like, oh gosh, I hope the birds come around soon. And then finally on Tuesday I saw several birds and my first beautiful cardinal, so I drew a picture of them. Um, that's all I've got so far. Today's Thursday. I haven't done anything for Wednesday or today just yet. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick catch up. So I hope you enjoyed that. One quick reminder. Uh, I mentioned in my last video that I am doing the 100 day project. Um, that's still going on. I am writing a blog post every single day for 100 days. Today is day 20. Before I want to say I haven't written a blog post today, but I will um, If you're interested take a look at my website I will put a link in the description box below and I hope you check it out um, You know since I have to do it every day for a hundred days Some of the entries are good and some of them are just kind of like eh, whatever Let me get this over with I don't have a lot of time, but take a look. It's it's been fun so far I look forward to um, finishing it up and continuing on so thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button and smash the subscribe button if you want to see more. I hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much.